Lightning Tech fans, but certainly blanket weather as game two of the series gets ready between the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs and Arkansas Razorbacks. Today on the hill for the Razorbacks, Will McIntyre, the Saturday starter, gets the start. Will McIntyre, he, Brad, he's going to sit in the upper 80s to low 90s. He's going to have to land that soft breaking ball in his changeup. And the two strike pitch. That's ripped on and missed. A strikeout to the pitch. And the one two. That thing's at a mile in the air. Can you even see that ball up there in the clouds? I can't. Bolton can. I hope. He makes the grab. And it ends the inning. Tech has the 2 2. Poked in the center for a base hit. That's the 19th hit this year for Josenberger. Wagner has 20. One home run for Slavens this year. Hits one in the air, shallow center. Dross comes racing on. This ball may drop. Off the glove of Myers. And Wagner was running with two outs. And he is going to score without a throw. That ball was up there forever, but fell. And the Razorbacks score first. Well, there is, is that the center fielder's ball? I, I think so. I think he was playing really deep with the power of Slavens. But here's a payoff. That ball rolled in there a bit, and Birchfield able to put it in play and single to left. The first Bulldog base runner. Got a little wiggle, a little waggle. Drives that ball in the air to center. Josenberger. Backpedaling, plenty of room. Makes the grab for out number two. This homestand, he's passed some big time names like Wayne Graham, Andy Lopez, and all time wins. Soft liner picked out of the air by Stovall right off his shoe. That will end the inning. Dog's going to hit. There is no better fan base across the country. That ball drilled to left, shot towards the wall. It's going to keep on going. Right on into the hog pan. Kendall Diggs has some juice. That ball exploded off his back. And number five has home run number five on the season. You know, when you have the exit velocity of 105 miles an hour, that's why this ball just kicked into a second gear as it shot over that left field wall. And again, tremendous power by Kendall Diggs. Peyton Holt getting the start at third base. He drives that ball to center. Tagged rather well. This one's got a chance. Back to back. First Kendall Diggs. How about the first collegiate home run for Peyton Holt? And he's made it 2 nothing Razorbacks. But that feels good for Peyton Holt. An absolute bomb to center field. You talk about getting all the leverage you possibly can on that swing. That was Peyton Holt right there. As soon as you see a center fielder turn that head around and just put it down and take off and run. In the right of base hit, Stovall. Stuck one between Evans and Davis. 17th hit of the year for Peyton. Hard hit right to first. Evans steps on the bag, throws down to second base. That is going to be a double play. Hogs have hit into uh, more than their fair share of ground ball double plays this season. So far through three innings. That was to Birchfield. Another one that's lifted into playable right center. Borfin there calls off Tavian. Dismissed him with that right hand. It's off the cap of the bat. Tell you what, Will McIntyre's had some very quick innings. Three of his four have been perfect. Good beginning. Ripped to right. He's got a chance for another one. Goodbye. Back to back games for Jace Borfin. There's the thump. Home run number five. And the Hogs, things have traveled in threes today. At least that's. What they've done with the long ball again. What a shot by Jace Borfin, an absolute rocket off the bat. And there is a, what little breeze there is, it's blowing in from right field. That wasn't going to hold that baseball up off the netting over the bullpen out there in right. Dogs won the final game. Myers to bunt, and this is going to take a great play from Holt. Just threw it by Slavens, and Myers will cruise to second. So he'll break that streak of. Nine in a row set down by McIntyre. Probably a bunt hit and a throwing gear. Hard hit into left center. That's going to chase on Myers with the first run today for the Bulldogs. So we've mentioned they don't mind coming from behind. They were down big early yesterday and then fought their way back in, and that's the first tally. The season a third. He's playing short. That ball 
He's tracking back to the fence, but Borfin on the warning track will make the catch. Oh, another fly out, inning ends. Yank that one. Ball four, so Bolton will take the walk. Wasn't exactly a quick pitch, he just wasn't expecting it. Rips that one down the line and right, that's gonna go all the way to the fence. Bolton is gonna score. Stovall will coast into second base with a run scoring double. And it's 5-1 Razorbacks. He took that one off his shoe tops. That ball in the air towards Drost and he is going to make the catch to end the inning. So Slavens retire. Big Bender over the inside corner, strike three call. That has been well back. Hogs in front, 5-1, top of the sixth inning. My goodness, the balls in the air today, Troy, have been amazing off the bat of these Bulldog hitters against McIntyre. Another perfect inning, shortening this game. Bunt in a throwing air, that's a wave and a miss. Three strikeouts for McIntyre. He gets Matulia to begin. That ball hit in the air to right, sends Borfin back and on a windless day or a relatively calm day. It's like Tim Raines in the box there. <laughs> Payoff pitch. That's a fair ball. Holt with a nice backhand. Can he make the throw? My goodness gracious! What a play! I think Tech wants a review. The kid's looking good at third base. That. Well, that's a review of the play. The call on the field stands. The runner is out. Louisiana Tech has one challenge remaining. How about technology? Wow, got the mic. It's like a closer to the third baseman. Ball four. Home batting ninth, but I guess it means you're in that lineup every day. Polk is running. Throw down is going to get him by about eight feet. Bolton had to back out of the way. That pitch was coming at his cranium. Spot on. Wave and a miss. Four strikeouts for McIntyre. He had one stretch earlier today where he retired nine in a row. Setting up on that outside corner. Wave and a miss. How about 82 pitches for eight innings of work? Will McIntyre's absolutely dominating a really, really good Louisiana Tech lineup. And that is spot on right where you want to pitch it. Stovall, clubs one to center, Dross turning and running. Does he have enough? That goes off his glove, and Stovall might have a chance to circle him. He's gonna go for three, and there's the stop sign. Oh my goodness, we were close to having a chance for an inside the park. Drost wasn't able to secure it near that 400 foot marker. Yeah, kicked right off that glove, and then it went sideways, and. Scoreboard and there's a ground ball up the middle. Base hit by Wagner. Could have played another run for the Razorbacks. A Stovall triple. Wagner has RBI number 23. Uh oh, heads up, DBH. Well, the ball gets away and continuing to run was Slavens. We were watching the bat. Where did the ball go? See if he doesn't throw behind. Look right at everybody there. watching the bat. Meanwhile, the ball, that's not a bad maneuver as long no. as you don't throw it away. Problem is, first baseman Evans may have been watching the bat as well. Almost like the slave is going to take it third base on that. Lifted to right center. Matulia comes in to make the grab, and it's going to send us to the ninth inning. That is high, and that is ball four, so a leadoff runner on. Bates is going to fly out for the fourth time in the game. Josenberger secures it for out number one in the ninth inning. Will this one stay in play? Can Stovall call off Slavens? Peyton's got the better angle. Two outs. Will McIntyre with a little fist bump there. He's excited to get that out. He is one out away from a complete game at 90 pitches. 97. Can McIntyre end it? Yes, sir! How about a complete game victory? McIntyre's fired up. It took two hours and seven minutes to play. 
and McIntyre gets 27 outs on less than 100 pitches. That is called putting your team on your back and just carrying them to victory. Again, a Louisiana Tech team that's going to win a lot of ball games this year, but today was Will McIntyre's day. Right? Enthusiasm out of him. Watch this reaction. Well, Think he, he enjoyed it? Yeah, he knew he beat a really solid hitting team in, in the Bulldogs. And again, Arkansas with a big W today. And again, another series victory here at Bob Walker State.